when the IPL retention list was out, there was not many surprises when it came to RCB. Because we knew that in the 18th year, there was only going to be one thorough retention that was going to be there. And that was Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli getting retained was no major surprise. But there was a surprise thrown by RCB when they decided to not retain Mohammad Siraj and put him into the auction. So that was one major surprise that RCB dished out in the retention list as far as it is concerned. Virat Kohli, everybody was certain you would be retained. But whether he will be the captain for RCB in IPL 2025, now that remains an open-ended question. And Mo Bobat, who is the director of cricket for RCB, he, during the interview with the host broadcasters at that time, he gave some not so conclusive answers, but then he also gave a suggestion as to why this particular strategy RCB will employ. So, as far as the captaincy debate is concerned, whether it is going to be Virat Kohli, Mo Bobat had an answer. He said, as for the captaincy, there are many rumours, but we haven't made any decisions yet. The only clear decision we have made is not to retain FAF. We are keeping an open mind about captaincy. So, most likely Virat Kohli will be your RCB captain only if it is the last resort. They will look for a new captain and that is why I think in the mega auction there will be a huge emphasis on two guys, Rishabh Pant and Shreya Sayyar. These two guys who have been proven to be captaincy material and for Shreya Sayer in particular, he led KKR to the title in 2024. Who knows, Shreya Sayer could be the captain for Royal Challengers Bengaluru because he is looking for a franchisee that needs a captain. Looking at it, there are only four teams that require a captain. PBKS, Delhi Capitals, RCB and KKR. Now, getting going back to KKR, that too at a lower base price, may not happen for Shreya Sayer. It is heavily touted that Delhi Capitals would get him. Punjab Kings, they have got their entire purse to throw. They will also get him. RCB, that is the one per equation that could ensure that Shreya Sayer comes there. A lot of people have linked Shreya Sayer to Delhi Capitals, but most likely with this statement, RCB might go big for Shreya Sayer in the upcoming uh, mega auction that is there. So, as far as captaincy is concerned, RCB are looking for a new captain looking into the future. Virat Kohli might be the last ditch effort if no one else comes up and they do not get most of the players that they want in the auction. So, that is Mo Bobat's uh, assessment of the whole thing. Now, as far as Siraj is concerned, Mohammad Siraj not getting retained, Mo Bobat did admit that it was a tough, tough decision. Because he stated, not retaining him was our toughest decision. Strong performer for RCB and in India over the years. However, we wanted to build a balanced bowling attack. If you look at Siraj, his performances at the Chinnaswamy Stadium has not been that up to the mark. Sure, in 2020 and 2021, he was your star in the UAE. But apart from that, Mohammad Siraj has underwhelmed when you look at the IPL at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. So, they want to go on a balanced bowling lineup. They have already retained Yash Dayal. Now, who will the other bowlers be around that? Maybe they could go for Yuzi Chahal. But remember, with Rajasthan now retaining most players, they have retained six, there is no RTM option. So, it looks like Yuzi Chahal could come back to RCB. And this omission after 2020, 2021, Maybe he could be reunited at the franchisee back. So, that is the one option they are looking at. Who will be the other bowlers they could target? That remains an open uh, question at this stage. What is the strategy for RCB in IPL 2025 onwards? They are saying, prioritizing the strong Indian core during the auction phase is crucial. Retaining our players was a straightforward choice, especially given their performances. This is RCB's strategy. Like whoever has performed well in the past, they will come into the equation. And that is why past performances, if you look at it, Rajat Patidar and Yash Dayal fitted the bill perfectly. That is why Rajat Patidar went for rupees 11 crore. And on that only he stated, why did RCB retain Rajat Patidar and Yash Dayal? Mo Bobat stated, Rajat has a unique ability to attack spin and play aggressively. 
Yash impressed us as a new ball bowler. Retaining them was an obvious choice. So the management had already made it clear that Yash Dayal and uh, uh, you look at it, uh, Rajat Patidar would be retained. It made sense to retain Patidar because he was one of the more solid middle order batters that were there in the RCB batting lineup. Yash Dayal, they have kept the faith in him. When he was down, RCB uh, really uh, propelled him to his confidence, and that is why credit to RCB for backing Yash Dayal. On the other hand, what will the strategy be now? Because RCB are in the same boat as Punjab Kings. Both have not won the title, that is a different thing altogether. But they have the second highest purse. Punjab has 110.5, RCB have 83 crores. So they can actually go big in the mega auction. Will they pick the right players? They will need a captain, they will need a keeper, they will need a middle order bat. Except a keeper, one individual fulfills that. And if you want a keeper but not an opening bat, there is another individual who satisfies that. Will both come? Will one more individual come? Will RCB really break the bank on certain players? That is the strategy we will all be waiting for heading into the mega auction. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.